Hello and welcome to another update video about Tezos. I think a lot of people uh, want an update video. I did one before the breakout actually happened, made you aware that a breakout is imminent, that we could break out at any time from that um, ascend, no, not ascending triangle, but from that um, symmetrical triangle formation that we put onto the chart in the last video. The last video we were here, I, I said we could actually come down once more because we were trading in this range here but it was a clear breakout formation. And um, yeah, I said it, at some point, the breakout will happen out of that formation. I gave you the price targets for both scenarios, up and down. And as we broke out to the upside, I said, you know, the next price target that you can expect is $8. There will be some resistance and there was some resistance. And you can see that when we go into the lower term time frame. Um, but um, also we have now broken out today out of the, was it today? Yeah, today out of the cup and handle shape. So I did say in that video, I don't really see a clear handle really, but it is certainly that formation that we formed or a very similar formation that we formed um, on the Coty chart as well. And if you remember my videos on Coty, we um, predicted that breakout on this channel as well, because that was an even more clearly defined cup and handle. We exactly broke out when we hit that ascending trend line here. And also at the time, the target level played out perfectly. And this is what I'm going to show you now. So we can at least get an idea of where we might be heading. So what we did back then with Koti, we had the same formation. You can see how these charts are so similar. Um, this again, this is Tezos. This is Koti. It's, it's really, it's nearly identical. Well, not clearly identical, but it's very, very similar. So on the Koti chart here, we took the depth of the cup, that is normally what you do, and you add it to the breakout point. You don't add it normally to this, um, to the neckline, you add it to the breakout point of the handle. Um, and here, what we could see, that target level was exactly hit. I gave you the targets at the time around 65, 66, I need to go a bit lower, um, dollars, and we, we came up all the way to that level. So at the moment, it's still early days on Tezos, I think, after the breakout. So, you know, it is still, I think, a good, no, no financial advice here, but um, it could still be a good good time to get in if we see a retest here and we're going to take a look at the shorter term time frame to see if it might be a good opportunity to get in. But again, no financial advice. It's all at you, on your own risk. I only make you aware of these opportunities and I made you aware before we broke out um, of this triangle. So you could have got in there already, especially after the retest. So you already lost some. If you didn't get in, you know, I, I can only make you aware of these opportunities and, and we make sense of the charts here. But let's take the depth of that cup here. And by the way, this is nothing about fundamentals. I only talk about the technical side here. So um, if you want to inform yourself about the fundamental side of Tezos before anything happens, that would be advisable as well. So anyway, here we are. That would be the target because that is similar to Koti, the breakout point. That is where we came out. You know, you could argue, yeah, maybe we should add it here, but let's add it here. That is where Koti started to break out. That is where the target hit with Koti as well, if we just do it in the same way. And that was very accurate. So that would give us a price target of $11. It would give us a price target of $11. And let us just, um, maybe even a little bit higher, but I would go with 11 And bear in mind, we've got a $10 along the way, which might be a resistance as well. So we're not too far away from that. $10 is just a psychological mark. And let's add the Fibonacci extension levels onto the chart. Just to see. And that would give us the range, you know, it's certainly between 9.7 and 11.7, right? So the $10 that I just gave you are in the middle of that, are just between that. These are the Fibonacci extension levels, the 1.272, uh, certainly the first one at $9.69. I think personally that is probably where we'll find the first resistance because that is the first Fibonacci extension level, the first main one that you have on the chart here. Also, it's quite close to the $10. So I think we might get to 10, but we might already stop at 9.70. And then if we break the $10, um, we will get to the 11.76. That is the next the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. And, you know, do we get to the $14? I'm not sure. You normally don't, you know, it, it, I would say with Koti, we didn't. Yeah. Koti, we stopped here. Um, so it is just something to be aware of. These are the targets based on the Fibonacci extension levels. And um, I think it would still possibly be a good time to get in. But again, 
not financial advice because it's still early. Um, let's take a look at the earlier. And by the way, you have to expect a retracement at some point now because on the daily here, we are also um, over, we, you know, we're getting into the overbought range now again. But we clearly broke out, so that's very crucial. We even broke above the most recent high. That is important as well. We made a bullish cross on the MACD, and I think the ADX will soon go into the trend as well again. It's currently still sitting in a range mark, the ADX line, but um, we made a bullish cross on the directional movement index lines, so that's positive. And on the hourly here, what we can see, that is the resistance at $8 that we talked about. So we found resistance at the $8 line that I mentioned in the previous video. First of all, when we broke out of that triangle, we saw a retest very nicely, very accurately, a retest of that line, broke out of that $8 line. Yeah, we, well, we found resistance there, coiled up and then pushed further up. So there will be some um, further setback very soon, possibly now, because you can see that we're coming out again out of the, um, on the short term timeframes, we're now in the overbought range. So, you know, personally, I would wait for another retracement now, and then it might be a chance to get in, right? You know, because now you're just buying into an over, uh, overbought market in the short term, but, um, and we're in the overbought range. I would wait, you know, you, you did it here as well. You know, we were in overbought and you came down again in that, in that retracement here. And um, we did it again here. Yeah, we went to overbought, came back into a retracement. So um, there might be a bit of a, a little bit of a stronger retracement coming now, but certainly, you know, we, we broke out of that. What is of course important also to see, depending on which time frame you're trading in, but um, you know, do we see maybe on the four hour chart as well? Do we see on the four hour, um, maybe another retest or so in the four hour. I mean, on the four hour, we are in the over, in, we are in the overbought range now as well. So I expect a retracement now, um, another retracement after that most recent pump, and possibly that could be used to get into the market. Again, no financial advice, but you know, the indicators are looking good. You know, we've been making bullish crosses here and there everywhere, buy signals. Um, we've seen a really strong chart. I did mention it in the last video, that we were still in an uptrend, even though most of the other cryptos were in a consolidation phase. We had a trend, trend continuation pattern here. So it's nice to see, you know, and if you, if you want to see further of these videos about Tezos, please subscribe, like the video. And we've, um, on this channel, we've identified a few cryptos, which, you know, were just before the breakout, we, we mentioned it, um, that we were in that breakout pattern. And that these are always good opportunities to then closely observe and watch. And when you see the breakout, then it's normally a good time to get in. Sometimes wait for a retest, which we saw here. Um, but yeah, that that would have been a great that would have been a great time to get in after the retest. What I always mention or regularly mention, you know, you break out of that pattern, you see a retest, and then you can go up. And if you see want to see more information about how to do that, you can check out my second channel link in the description on which I teach technical analysis. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's another crypto that broke out to the upside. Um, very interesting, very well defined. And currently we seem to be in a little bit of a retracement. I think we have to see one because we are very overbought on the shorter term timeframes. Now I'm on the one minute chart, that's a bit too fast, but if we go into the one hour chart again. You can see that, that we get that pushback that I just mentioned that we possibly get a little bit of a retracement now. And you can see that push that happened just in one hour. Um, so yeah, we will see probably in the next few hours again, a little bit of a retracement here. And maybe if we just take the Fibonacci, just from that most recent pump here, where we got to looking at a possible retracement zones, you know, we could possibly get that back to $8 now um, in terms of retracement. That would not be unusual because the $8, that is pretty much, or $8.10, that is where the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level sits and also that would be no 8010. No, I think actually we might get the um, might get back to the 0 0.382, which is 828, and that would be again, it's just a guess at the moment, but that's the level to watch because that is the most recent, um, the most recent high here that we made. So I wouldn't, th I wouldn't think so that we get below that. Um, so that would certainly provide some strong support. Maybe we don't even get down that far. So, um, yeah. You know, wait for that retracement, or maybe on the lower time frames, and then time you to get in. 
you can see it here on the 30 minute chart already happening that retracement and i think we could expect something to see like that a little bit of a sideways move and maybe then a continuation to the upside it's all looking quite good at the moment as i said overheated on the short term time frame so now even on the daily so a little bit of a retracement is expected now after that pump but very importantly is that we broke out of that range and um, that is important and a good good potential good opportunity but what is also worth saying is that the daily candle hasn't closed above that level so depending on your time frame and you know when when you you know in which time frames you are trading um you, you would need to watch for a daily close above that or if you do day trading of course you know it, that's why i can't really give recommendations but certainly i think an opportunity um to get in depending on your strategy so hopefully you liked the video if you did please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on this crypto journey then please subscribe thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video Bye bye